horse people, my name is Michaela. You're watching Day by Day Vlogs, and these are a couple of my horses, Soccer and Sugar. I don't know if you can see them back here or not. Make sure to enjoy the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is the day we are taking our boy bunny to, to get neutered. So they're together in our little carry case that Sam made and they're doing okay. They don't know what's about to happen. Absolutely no signs that our mama bunny is gonna give birth. So maybe it's gonna be okay, maybe we won't have any more bunnies, but we're gonna make sure that we don't have any more bunnies. Maybe we will because I think that when we went back to check them, and there was fur, lots of fur in the pen. Okay, well we're probably gonna have bunnies then. If you don't know, before she surprised us with a litter of kits, um, Sophie dreamed that we went in there in the morning and there were kids, they were baby bunnies. So, well, that didn't mean anything if yet. she dreamed it again, chances are we're gonna have more. neutered and I had to sign a contract and it said that if they decide that they need anything else done while they're under anesthetic they will do it and then we just have to pay the cost and I feel like that's kind of fishy kind of suspicious to me like shouldn't they ask us first she just explained to us how bunnies have a really fast metabolism and it can cause problems during anesthetic and how there are risks so we're a little nervous you're such a cute bunny. I have to have to hold on to this guy. Sad? Are you sad? Your boy's gone. I want to cry too. It's okay. Are you gonna cry when you're warm? <laughs> I feel sad because he doesn't know her and she just took him, right? Bye, Bunny. Ready, Freddy? All right. You guys go learn lots at school. Are you guys going to school today? At home. You're homeschooled? Oh, cool. Something crazy has happened in our bunny room. You are not gonna believe how big our bunnies are. Aren't they huge? Just joking, that's the mom. <laughs> but look how big they are now. They're like these big puff balls. I think they don't need their mom's milk anymore. You think I they're think ready to go? Look, it doesn't that bit they that bunny look like their mom? mom? Yeah, they I still need their ready. mom's milk. They Daddy. still need their mom's Daddy. milk. Not Daisy. But look at how big they are. Look at Daisy. I will never forgive you. For what? She bit me. She bit you? Who is that, Bella? Yes. Let me see Bella. Let's compare Bella. Bella All right, me. so this is Bella. She's baby Bella. Oh, she's so she's my cute. Wife. And then this is her brother or her sister beside her. Let's see. Can you guys tell the difference? <laughs> she's tiny. You can't really tell, but Bella is little. Bella's Look at how Bella. cute. Bella. But you know who's the best? Daisy. Daisy, I'd never trade you for a bu for a baby bunny. Today is officially Daisy's due date, and there are no new baby bunnies. Good, good <laughs> girl, Daisy. No more babies She's after fat, today. Is she fat? She doesn't seem really fat. She seems fat. I don't know. Maybe. She's loving me, rubbing her belly. She is an American bunny. We don't know what breed they are. Well, because I saw one that. But look, I'm rubbing her belly, and she's so excited. And then there's Ruby. Ruby's like, "Give me the bunnies. Give me the bunnies." Ah, oh, my favorite is that one. I can tell the difference between them. This, this is, is the bunny. 
That's the bunny that I this saved her life. I saved that bunny's life. She almost died. She got so cold. Her heart stopped beating and everything. And I warmed her up and put her back with her mama and she lived. She lived. And all I mean, these other one ones? I post? This one? Oh, that's adorable. Or this one. Is that, a, is that the baby or the mama? Daisy. Okay. That's Daisy. <laughs> Look how cute. <laughs> There they are. You can only put them together for a second. Look how cute. This one looks like the dad, like the dad's with a shorter face. And this is Daisy with a long face. Look at how cute she Mom, is. Mom, can you? Now that the boys are neutered, I look forward to them recuperating and then us, the babies moving on to their new home and then us taking the bunnies out of the bunny room a lot more often. Sometimes at night we bring them downstairs and watch TV with them but it's hard right now because the babies need them and it's just been frustrating. Aren't they so cute? So much white. Mommy. It's gonna be Easter soon. Imagine how amazing. Oh, Easter bunnies. Yeah. Does your kid want a bunny for Easter? Yeah, does your kid want a bunny? She's like, what, you're gonna give away my babies? She's like, how dare you talk about giving away my babies. Oh, Sophie's got one on her butt. Sophie's got two on her butt. You're so cute. You're so cute. I have not even kept you guys updated on what's been happening in the bunny room. It is a little messy right now, but it's been better, like a lot better. So what happened was I put this plastic all around both of the pens and it worked so, so well for one day. All the babies stayed where they were meant to stay, all the bunnies stayed where they belonged, and then the next day they were all running around crazy loose again. As you can see, they pulled this one all out, it was all tucked in, and then now they just pulled it apart. So now that the boys are neutered though, I can take these two separate pens and put them together and they can all live harmoniously together and um, we don't have to worry about them trying to escape. We also put these little um, tents in the bunny pens and the baby bunnies have been loving it. The baby bunnies have been eating a lot on their own now too and that means that they've been pooping a lot and they've been getting poop everywhere all stuck to their beautiful white fur and I've been having to bath them and clean them and it's not been the funnest time I can tell you that hashtag get the girls any animal ever again is never gonna work on me because these buddies have been a lot of work I got a message yesterday from a girl named Tegan and I want to share it with you guys I started this conversation yesterday when we we're at the barn but I didn't wasn't able to really get into it so I'm gonna pick it up now and what Tegan says is, my trainer's a jumper, so she thinks bitless bridles are stupid, and she thinks we should use a bit. How would you recommend asking her? I know that there are many people who have the same thing going on too, and we would all benefit from you guys talking about it. And it's true. That is one of the biggest questions that I get almost every single day. How do I convince my trainer to let me ride a bitless? And I am not going to get into the big, huge bit or bitless debate because it is a huge, huge debate. And I don't know enough to um, give advice about that. And all I know for sure is that if you want to do something and you want your trainer's help, all you need to do is ask. And if you're feeling really nervous about asking, get your parents on board. And don't take no for an answer. If your trainer has a reason she does not want you to try riding bitless with her support and her help, then she'll tell you. And maybe the reason is because she doesn't know how to do it. Maybe there's so much more to it that you don't understand and that she doesn't think that your horse is ready for that. There are so many reasons that your trainer may be not addressing the situation when you ask her for help, but if you want help and you want to address this, then you need to just keep asking her. You need to have your parents go with you if you're young and have them address it and just ask her why. And if she has a valid reason why she won't help you, then that's okay. And if you still want help, consider trading barns. Bitless rotting is not going anywhere, that's for sure. And just because you're young, it doesn't mean that people should disregard what you think. We were really lucky to have a trainer that is open and honest with us. She tells us when she can't help us with something. She explains the reasons why she doesn't think 
certain things are options for us and she always listens to us but even though she does I sometimes have to say things several times before I really can show her that I'm serious about something and then eventually she always does take me seriously um, it's hard for us because we really don't know a lot of stuff we don't I don't really know what I'm talking about half the time so just keep asking keep telling her the things that you want to do keep keep mentioning the things that you're interested in and that you want to learn and eventually she's going to have to address it and if you're not happy with the kind of learning that you're doing at your barn it's okay to change barn anyway i don't know that much about it all i know is that if somebody's not listening to you and taking you seriously you need to keep addressing it get somebody else on your side to help you through it and to help um talk about it and if you're still not happy look for a barn that teaches in the way that in the ways that you're interested they called and told us that our bunnies made it through the surgery and are ready yet to be to go home where's your bunny where's your bunny we saw a dog being led like instead of a leash a horse lead rope and i know it because my friend has it oh for their dog for their horse Oh. I can't wait to see my bunny. Look at this collar. You guys see this collar? It says Daisy. It's a pet tag collar. It says Daisy. I want that for my bunny. This is just some discharge information. So, um, of course, bunnies, we always want to make sure that they're eating. So they do have some hay in with them now. But when you get home, just make sure you set up some hay, some food. Um, they should continue to eat just with their increased metabolism. Um, we have some pain medication for them as well. So you're going to start that tomorrow morning. We gave it an injectable version of it today. I don't want to hurt him. Welcome home, little man. Welcome home, little guy. There you go. You guys stay in there. I'm so happy to have them home. I'm excited for them to get better now. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.